Hi. Oh. Sex Club! One of the Eden Club is what we're talking about here, guys. He's like, Adam and Eve, not Adam and C-3PO. <laughs> you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. It's a cop right there. Okay. Let's get going. Ten bucks he comes here a lot. I, I gotta say, of the three stories, this one's by far the most interesting. Like, by far the most interesting. I don't care about Marcus, I don't really care about Kara that much. But, like, these two are great. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> <laughs> They are some good-looking androids, I must say. Oh, they're glittery! That's Kyle, cool! What the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> nope, check out each one. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good-looking. Well, there's other guy ones in here. I guess, like, I guess they're trying to make the guys kind of twinky. For, like, the tops, well, I guess. He's not twinky. No, he's not. No. Nah. He's fucking twinky, look at that! Yeah. Twink. Yep. <laughs> She Everyone here is good looking. Wow, they're all good great. looking. Great. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> you guys all made the same fucking joke. <laughs> yep. I don't like her hair that much, though. It's kind of like yours sometimes, though. Yeah, I know. Is that why? Maybe. Twinkie Asian dude. I love how he smiles at us. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't done! <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. What an asshole. Night, Lieutenant. I mean, that's true. At least the police officer's actually nice. Yeah, I just hate, straight up hate the other dude. Yeah, he's just a piece of shit. Yeah, if he died, I wouldn't care. <laughs> and if, if there's an option to save him, I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> Alright. Critically damaged. Yeah. Okay. Bio She's component was critically damaged. Just... She's fucked. Yeah. And now we gotta. This side of the bed. Matt, I confirmed we're having burnt his dick off in a toaster. <laughs> he also has cardiac arrest. What no, the fuck? no sign of cardiac arrest. Oh. Right. See? Right. No sign of cardiac arrest. Deceased. Well, yeah, he's dead. He looks fucking dead. There's a third part there on his shoulder. Oh. Oh shit! She strangled him. Do you, th do you think that she was like... Do you think he was enjoying it? Imagine being asked your stripper to set her boob size, ass size, and hair color. Was strangled. Mm. He come to death. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That improved him. Anything though, could have been rough play. That's true. 
We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. There we go. I can try. Driver's license says... Reactivation's required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute. Maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Yeah, just stick those tubes together, it'll work. Oh. Calm down. Everything's alright. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me. Leaking. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Who killed that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I, I didn't see anything. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? Crap. Well, there's probably cameras yeah. near yeah. in front of the uh, in the front of the room. You can fucking see who went what happened, hopefully. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Hmm. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came I in maybe two or three guy. times. I mean, these I guys don't really not. talk very mm. much, you know? Yeah, girls in the tank might see. Going their way. No way. No. Once we lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things <laughs> to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <sighs> that's that's pretty funny. No, I, I like this part of the game legitimately. A 30 minute session costs twenty nine ninety nine. Please confirm your purchase. Why didn't you guys just get the manager to do it? This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? I'm gonna bang this android. Oh, oh shit. What the hell are you doing? Oh, okay, okay. This is kind of neat. <coughs> uh oh. <gasps> Blue haired Tracy headed towards. It's that me. chick! It's that chick whose hair I didn't like! Was it her? <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. I'm gonna test my mic here. Nope, oh, still works. It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. 
Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. What? Last known position is there. Who else? Maybe, maybe the girl in the pole? No, no, hey, he, he's gonna see to the other. Tell you changed your mind. Uh, uh, Let's try this one. This better be working. Why is she in there? Oh. It turned back into the club. Okay, it's going in the other direction. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know it. That's like 30 Tracys. Jesus. How can Naomi not remember which side of the controller is L? <laughs> Turn to the red room. Come on. How about you, buddy? Did you see anything? Come on. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Maybe that guy? <laughs> More money. <laughs> Why does this fat guy want to bang this this little Asian what dude? What the fuck? Shit! You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. It came in here, right? <laughs> She's like, yeah. There. Yeah, in there, in there. One of these guys. It's like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> by the door? The blue room door? The red room door over there? Yeah. There she is, there she is. It hid in a room. It was a private staff only room. No. I think it was. No, it wasn't. She's like, I had a good time. She's, she looks fucking dead. <laughs> Jesus. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. Who did I ask? I asked her? You, you didn't ask the Asian one yet. Fucking Christ. I can't ask the actual human. That's what I went up to do first. No, it's not a human, it's a, it's a robot. Yeah, staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. 
Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Go. Wait. I'll take it from here. Is that her? I win. <laughs> uh, that's where our does win, but it wasn't a person. Shit. We're too late. <laughs> yeah, maybe? Nope. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Or was he starting to feel some sympathy for him? Mm. What? You want to read anything right now? Fucking care. <laughs> But don't you want to read all of David Cage's writing? No! <laughs> oh my god, I hate the controls. I hate the walking so fucking much. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Get out of my way, Hank! Move. Jesus. Go, go, go! Fuck! Fucking! Look at this! Look at this! I can't fucking... Are you stuck? Don't throw the controller. Oh my god. <laughs> You had to wait for him to move on. RA9? R okay. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're going to be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Feels, Feels good, man. Why wouldn't she have just left, you know? If androids get human rights, can you punish an android that has, a, that has had a memory wipe after doing something illegal? I don't know. <sighs> Can't you just follow the trap? I think it's in there. Just standing. There she is. Don't move! Oh, there she is. Fighting in heels, man. Thanks for getting his ass kicked back there. Nobody. Lesbianing it? Looks like it. 
Quick, they're getting away! Oh, fuck. Hank, where are you? I can't fight too. Can you aim? Tried to kill you multiple times. She had nothing to do with any of this. She's a robot, you can just repair her. Don't worry. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. him to stop but he wouldn't assaults a cop so she didn't do nothing <laughs> this is this is didn't do nothing the game isn't it pretty much yeah moving. yes I killed him but I was just defending myself I wanted to live I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. Why would you enable you, robots with a sense of smell? You've taken her away from me. I love her. I love her. Bad. I feel bad. Oh my God. Wait, Hank doesn't like us anymore? I guess not. Womp. I don't understand Hank's reaction, but okay. Deviant kills herself with Connor's gun. Oh, wait. Ruthless, dude. Okay, so You're... no matter what, she would have fucking. Oh no, wait. I guess if you, not. If okay. you spared her, you could have gotten a different, yeah. some different endings there. Well then. Naomi's a crap cop. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why I never wanted to be a, uh, a police officer. Because <laughs> um, I'd be bad at it. Why is why the coffee going? What the fuck gone? are we doing at one in the morning? Uh, going to Canada. Oh yeah. That's why it's snowy. <laughs> no one likes you, Kara. No one likes me because I'm the fucking one controlling everyone. <laughs> what is 30 Fahrenheit in actual temperature? I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's not that pretty. style. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. It's like minus one? Okay. It, it wouldn't be snowing this hard in minus one. No, it wouldn't. No. As, as experts on snow. <laughs> These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Keep your eyes on the road, buddy. I don't... I don't think he has to. Oh, it's autumn. Yeah. I wouldn't trust an automatic car in a fucking blizzard. There's no way. 
It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Canadian Alpha racial detectors. Emergency brakes activated. This some poor looking work. snow, graphically. Stay inside, Alice. Hmm. I guarantee you by 2038, there's still gonna be like old cars. The cars made today, still people still using them. They're not, they're not all gonna be like this. What are we going to do? I don't know. It's steamy, right? Guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. In the car. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cameron. The car is actually decent shelter for one night. In fact, you did it before. <laughs> In this playthrough. Ah. Uh. Why didn't you guys just make an igloo? Not enough snow for an igloo. Yeah, maybe. And not well, an igloo. There, well, maybe there's there's an obvious wall, so the game is not gonna let you go do. <laughs> Pirates Cove amusement park. Over there. Stream life is strange. We did that like two years ago, 12 a.m. coffee. And it's up on the YouTube. In my opinion, it's our best playthrough. I'd go back and watch that if we I were you. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. But I do want to do the second life is strange this week. Or it's not this week, uh, this summer. I want to get to it. Uh, maybe after we're done this game. It's kind of the same genre. Dude, Life is Strange sucked. It was funny. It was really funny, but I don't think it was a good game. Who's this? Hell? He's a frozen android who was left here. That's so sad. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. That's sad. Wow. All right. How does he keep balance? We haven't played Before the Storm. I think we're going to this summer. You want to play Before the Storm, Naomi? Sure. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. I can see what the. Naomi is sad when her lamp dies. Yeah, I am. Fucking, I got no light. Of course, I'd be sad. It's turning into that film AI with the Robin Williams one. Now there's snow in there. Looks safe. But it's gonna be cold. Should have stayed in the car, frankly. Yeah, we should have. I'm gonna keep searching. He's not gonna let you, probably. Huh. Enter the abandoned store. Alrighty then, it, sure. It just fucking tells you go into the abandoned store. You're not gonna be able to choose. Just go do it and shut up. <laughs> I'll handle this. The 
fact that they don't have the same amount of strength is strength is kind of dumb. Well, not the bigger, obviously, right? Well, well, yeah, but I mean, like, Kara should have been able to rip off go. those boards very easily. She's a fucking android. Well, they already established that the androids aren't stronger than humans in this. They're just equal to their human counterparts. This, is, this isn't data from next gen. This is dumb. I don't think we'll find anything better. Kill all the synth. Glory to the That's Brotherhood of Steel. I'll get the fire. This isn't Fallout. <laughs> also, hey, King Chup. <sighs> Discover Canada. It's so great. Oh, Android band. Traditionalists weep. Of course. Also, that seemed like a modern news report based on like the other things we learned about Canada and Russia. So I don't know why it's in this abandoned building. <laughs> You want a cookie? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Okay, what kid refuses cookies? Come on now. Well, keep it. Man, this game's a little bit infuriating, don't you think? Oh, I saw an RA9. Random pillow. Why is it in here? It's Who knows? Well, it's a pirate pillow. Tradition traditionalists, aka sane people that want to propagate the human race. Come on, Matt. Uh, you know that robot sex is always going to be better. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. Humanity was a mistake. Yeah, I think that every day. <laughs> every fucking day. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Time to do your nightly routine. You gotta wash up, brush your teeth, and suck my robot penis. <laughs> my robot girl penis. <laughs> Put it down exactly where it was. Do you check the RA9 on the, on the wall yet? Can't check it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there anything else? You have to tuck Alice in. Give her the smooch. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Robot girl penis is the most assuredly a thing in this world. Yeah, I know, Can you man. Tell me a story, Cara. Her I smiles are so creepy. The smiles are weird, yeah. Children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This 
is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. <sighs> um. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Oh, come on. I think it's actually kind of cool that you can pick what kind yeah, of story you're telling. A robot. Yeah, but this is very fucking hackneyed. Who was just as lost as the little girl. This is a story so all about how my life got flipped from upside to down. <laughs> Crystal philosopher in a world. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way. But, but they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along what would happen if you missed the timer for telling a story? I don't know. I don't really want to find out. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? We all die. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. The little girl, a little grill. Oh my god. Have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Okay. The grill because she's beside the fire. Desert? Yes. Yes, of course. Time for us to bang. Yep. Even we both got decks. <laughs> yep. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Although I suppose with the hair, she just kind of looked like a soccer mom. Mm. Or an Avery. That remind me of Avery. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I've really mythical thought about Canada. It. Yep. I've never been free before. Oh, thanks, sir. Sucks. Free. Thank you, dude. I like the sound. That would actually probably be a pretty good idea. Yeah, robot but fathers. I don't know what yeah. it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Kara! Whoa, what? Why? Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I 
don't think you have any choice. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Super helpful. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Our name is Devin, Devin Clone 845. Mm-hmm. Yep, sounds accurate. <laughs> Call Chris Hansen. Yeah, he did seem a bit. Oh, is the is it still operational? Be our guest. The Jerry's joined the party. Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Up you go. She looks so sad all the time. I think she just has like resting sad face. Awesome. Not a lot of rides for that carousel, though. It could have been broken off, right? True. We. Even it's when I was a kid. Even when I was like young, I always thought carousels were kind of. She lame. hasn't had much to smile. I like riding on carousels. It's relaxing. I guess, eh? You know what's also relaxing? Riding on a coach as you play a video game through the fucking nether void. This is not relaxing. This <laughs> game makes me angry. <laughs> who's that one Jerry in the back who's just hopping? I don't fucking know. And now the Jerry sacrificed <laughs> Alice to the Ferris wheel god. <laughs> Let me guess, you only have to, yeah, you can't do anything but ride in the, okay, David Cage. Okay, I think I might be done for today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might be done for today. Alrighty, then. You know what? Yeah, it's, what time is it? Yeah, it's, it's nearly one. We have some stuff to do today before I have to go to work tonight. So, um, that was some more Detroit Become Human. It's exactly what we thought it would be. Bye.